What's going on there, guys? Happy Friday. It is Friday, right? Friday evening. The Earthmaster here with Missy Mimi's. What's going on there, guys? With a quick update video on this, uh, like I said, Friday evening, uh, November 19th, 2021 to date, about 5.20 p.m. California time. And the latest quake on the globe, a 4.6 earthquake right around the Japan region. Pretty deep earthquake movement there at 113 kilometers uh, for that 4.6 earthquake. A little bit of activity occurring around the globe today as we look on the USGS map, uh, including some activity in the North American continent. Let's go ahead and bring down the all magnitudes map here. Quite a bit of activity throughout the Intermountain West regions, uh, stretching all the way from Montana uh, in a line down through Utah area. Uh, California and the West Coast in general picking up in activity as well as we zoom in uh, to the regions of Northern California. Of course, a lot of geyser activity here around the geysers in Northern Cal, south of Clear Lake, Lakeport area, Ukiah. Some movement over here along the coastline with a uh, 1.0, just some microquake activity occurring in the Northern California region up here to the north. Oregon into Washington. Uh, Oregon looks pretty clear in the uh, earthquake department. Some deeper movement in the microquake department at, uh, well, around the Washington area. All volcanoes look pretty quiet for the most part right now. Uh, a little bit of activity into Nevada and also along the um, Southern California coastline. Looks like that's where all the activity has been for uh, at least a few days. Pretty much, uh, I would say, northern, just right around Sacramento southward excluding all of this activity uh, in the geyser activity, which is very typical for movement uh, in that region of the state. In the Dillon Beach area, right on the San Andreas Fault, a 2.4 earthquake at 10 kilometers, somewhat deep for that region. Uh, also around the Sonoma area, around, what is that, Boys Hot Springs? Is that right? Yep. Just disappeared, okay. Boys. Uh, Hot springs. 10 kilometers for a 1.1. Just some microquake activity around the bay. But the uh, most part, uh, activity stretches south and to the east along the Nevada California state line with some movement along the Long Valley Supervolcano area and also regions south of Hawthorne, Nevada. Got a line of activity stretching out here across the Candelaria Hills, a little area where I visited uh, was it last year or the year before, uh, checking out some. Um, Earthquake activity out there. Uh, movement down in the Ridgecrest area seems to be picking up along the length, length of the entire fracture area from the uh, July 4th, July 5th sequence of earthquakes back in 2019. Am I right? 2019, I so. yeah. yeah. And also some movement along the uh, north of the Garlock Fault structure, but the Garlock Fault structure itself pretty quiet. A little query blast south of there, uh, 1.2 near uh, a, few, a few quarry blasts today throughout the region mojave uh, also victorville area getting in on some activity uh let's see what do we got san jacinto fault area kicking up a little but swarming activity all diminishing it looks like no nothing to really to chat about there in that department the imperial fault a little bit of movement there but uh, all that's just microquake activity some movement in the gulf of california with a 4.5 Looking up here in Montana, the there was a 3.4 uh, that came into the seismographs, and the USGS issued it as a 3.4 earthquake, but uh, they have since updated it to a a uh, query blast, a 3.4 query blast near Coal uh, Coal Strip, Montana. Of course, that's going to be down there a little bit, negative two according to the elevation out there, uh, negative two kilometers, and what we got out there is a whole lot of uh, mountain ranges and whatnot, but that's a pretty strong uh, pretty strong query blast in the Montana area. This kind of looks like we're looking at Mars or something. <laughs> Look at all those features, that's pretty cool. Um, but uh, yeah, right around this area is where they're uh, blowing stuff up. But either way, that's a pretty large query blast, 3.4 into the Montana area. Over here around the western Montana, things pretty clear, another little query blast. Uh, looking at a swarm of activity up in this region of the state. Looks like about 10 earthquakes or so. Most of these uh, microquakes, there was a 2.4. Uh, these are near Dillon, Montana, and there's a lot of variable depths here from 4 to 
looks like about seven kilometers or so, nine kilometers uh, below the surface near Clark Canyon Reservoir. Uh, of course, again, a whole lot of mountain ranges out there. Maybe looks like uh, some creeks nearby as well, but a lot of this um, activity contributed to uh, the movement along the west coast with the activity interaction of North American and Pacific plates. Except for the lack of activity here along the Cascadia, trimmer activity has been uh, relatively quiet and the movement at the surface has been quiet as well. So I'm not for sure what's going on there. I don't know if we're at the standstill or if this thing's ready to, to break loose and uh, send a, a, a mega quake to the Pacific Northwest. We're kind of watching that pretty closely. Um, down here through New Mexico, Texas, all quiet as well. We are looking at some movement into Oklahoma with some, uh, no doubt, I'm sure, fracking operation uh, activity around the Oklahoma City area. Let's go ahead and zoom into at least a couple of these, see what we got out there. In the beautiful state of Oklahoma, there's, man, talk about a, a uh, wealth of fracking operations out here. Look at all those little squares. This is yeah. not this is not Minecraft and it's not, uh, what's the other one, SimCity? But uh, <laughs> there's definitely some uh, fracking areas and operations all over the place. This specific 1.4 looks like it's near that looks like it could be a house i don't know but these little areas these squares um, scattered out and about they have little uh, ponds in them uh, the wastewater is uh they're all fracking operations so it's crazy a whole bunch throughout the oklahoma area and of course those are contributing to the um, earthquakes that we're seeing today in the state of oklahoma Let's move south or east. Things pretty quiet in the New Madrid area. No more earthquake activity there for now. East coast remains relatively quiet. It looks like Puerto Rico area. Seen some activity once again around the, uh, what is this, the Mona Seamount area? Mona Trough. A little subduction zone there. And also uh, looks like the major Puerto Rico trench subduction, or uh, Puerto Rico trench area. Uh, pretty quiet except for these little two ones in that region little two ones <laughs> a lot of activity though kicking up there lately yeah you see this little region in the puerto rico this here is a little outside of the normal swarming area that we see down here in the southwestern part of puerto rico so kind of watching this as well this is some new activity All and uh yeah about 23 24 kilometers uh, for that region so kind of keep an eye on the puerto rico area it has been pretty active over the last week here with a lot of movement near the Puerto Rico Trench. So uh, kind, kind of keep an eye on that. Kind of migrated south, but... Yeah, this region right here, though, this is very active. We always, for whatever reason, this area is always seeing movement here. We can go back 30 days and see uh, most of it's is contributed right here. And you go back months, it's always right here. It's always like a swarm of activity. So, uh, you know, it's just part of the uh, dynamics of that region. What else we got here in the South America area? A little bit of movement near Panama, or uh, off the coast of Colombia, I should say. 4.7, 10 kilometers below the surface for that. Uh, some activity in the Peru Chile Trench. 4.8, 232. In fact, it's not super deep. Last uh, last seven days we had a 537. Let's see if I. I think I remember that. Yeah, one. 500 and where'd you go? Right there. 569. 69. See how far inland that was. Wow. Of course, inland means a lot of deeper activity, but of course, this region here uh, very capable of producing some mega quakes in that subduction area. Uh, what else we got? South Sandwich Islands, pretty quiet. Uh, the movement in the Western Pacific, Vanuatu area. Had five point six. I don't know what it is here in California, but we we got migrated with a a lot of flies, flies out here and there's just a <laughs> massive amount of flies and i'm not for sure why and unfortunately i have one flying around here in the studio and it's not making me <laughs> focus like i should but uh anyway taiwan or what do we got japan area little 4.6 uh, this one's pretty deep here into the japan trench 113 kilometer deep 4.6 uh, this area, the Mariana Trench, pretty quiet. Areas northward is as well, uh, very quiet. Also some movement around the Indonesia area, looks like Papua New Guinea. Philippines seeing some good ones too. 5.4, 5.1. A little bit of activity there as well. Some 5.0 movement going on to the 
It was all shallow. Look at that. 58, 49. For this region, that should inland would be a lot more deeper here. But either way, definitely a lot of movement um, in that area. And of course, Indonesia, the hot spot of earthquake activity. What do we got up here in Afghanistan? A little 4.3 and uh, some movement around Turkey. Turkey. Uh, Yellowstone National Park. Let's go ahead and check out the activity there. Of course, there's none to speak of. And I'm trying to see if that 3.4 showed up on the uh, on the seismograph stations. That query blast. I don't really see it. It's possible it could be this one right here. Uh, very good possibility. Looking like it may have showed up here on Granton Village and maybe a little bit here up around Mary Lake, but uh, not very noticeable. It's kind of odd for 3.4. Yeah. Uh, Tremor map has not been updated yet, folks. Uh, it comes out here in about an hour. Yesterday there was a little bit of uptick, about 62 epicenters of Tremor into the southern end of the Cascadia. See this little line of activity stretching down about as far south as it can go in the Trimmer area. Anything further south than that would lead me to believe that there's a, a subduction zone around here. But we're not seeing that activity, so most of the Trimmer always should end. Oh, this fly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, should end right there where it's at right now. It's just extremely south into the uh, Cascadia subduction zone. As far as the Trimmer activity goes... Uh, let's see what else we got in the sun department, solar weather. Things are very quiet as well. Coronal Hole is facing us on the south side of the sun with some activity ramping up. Looks like 40%, 50% chance for the next couple days of uh, some geomagnetic, fork or, uh, geomagnetic storming. That means aurora activity. Right now it's pretty quiet on the aurora uh, forecast. There's the coronal holes. Sunspot activity looking um, very, I don't even know, very thin, I should say, slim. 10% of activity with some solar flare activity. But other than that, man, it's just very quiet. Look at that. Got these little specks on the sun. I want to see yeah. some giant, maybe about 20 times that would be cool. <laughs> All right, guys, what else we got here? I think that's about it. The uh, La Palma activity still kicking up. Still erupting. I mean, there hasn't been any mega change in the uh, activity there at La Palma in the Canary Islands. This is all earthquake activity for the most part there at La Palma. Uh, you can see quite a few threes and twos and whatnot throughout uh, at least the six hours. You can go back further in that and see that this earthquake activity uh, is continuing. The EMSC is kind of slow tonight. Of course, over here, La Palma, quite a bit of activity, folks, but no major change far as the eruptive uh, eruption stage goes there at La Palma. Things just continuing to pour out and uh, make new land and, and uh, you know, create new life, so to speak. Uh, what else we got? It is Friday night. I hear a lot of crazy people out there. I think it's a good night just to stay home and <laughs> stay safe behind the gate. It's probably, probably a good thing. Uh, let's see what else we got. There's that 3.4 that showed up there, but that's in the, uh, of course, there's no way of telling on this map. But that is indeed a query blast. Got anything else to add there, Missy Mimi's? No, it's looking, looking pretty. There's not, not a whole lot, but at the same time, might be picking up. Guess we'll find out, you know. It's staying, Trump, it's staying steady. Well, yeah, it's staying moderately active uh, as far as earthquake activity. Um, but no major swarms, just some, uh, just looks like a typical day here. Just uh, I'm kind of worried and concerned about the lack of activity in the Pacific Northwest and the Cascadia. It's Whoa. leading me to believe that uh, we're at a, a stuck point, maybe like a standstill. We'll uh, definitely be checking tremor later, though. See what that thing looks like. Yeah. All right, guys. Have a good night. Stay safe out there. Like I said, Friday night. Uh, best to stay home and put a movie on and enjoy life and not be part of the crazy crowd. <laughs> we'll chat you guys a little bit later. Peace out, everyone. Stay safe out there, guys. Peace uh, out. Have a good night.